Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look and I am obsessed with how it came out. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something light on the eyes and a bit glittery um, and I am obsessed with this lip. Like, So this is my first time using the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Mattes and I have got on the shade Sher and I'm in love. I am in love with this shade. I saw my friend Erin wearing this the other week in one of her photos and I was like, oh, so that's what made me excited to wear it and I absolutely love it. The formula feels so comfortable so far, so I really hope you guys enjoy this look. Don't forget to give it a like if you do like it and let's get started. So we are starting out with the skin and I'm going to prime using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade. For my foundation, I'm using two shades of NARS Sheer Glow. Um, I'll have the names listed down below of the colours, but I'm just applying that to my face using my Artiste Oval 8 brush. For the eyes, I'm priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and this is just going to help my eyeshadow stick and create a nice base. Then I'm going into the Morphe 35O palette and I'm just taking this sort of skin tone shade and just applying this all the way from the lid to the brow bone so that all my shadows blend nicely over the top. And I'm taking this warm toned brown and well they're all warm toned let's be real. Um, but I'm just taking this as in my transition shade so I'm just taking a fluffy brush and just really buffing this into the crease and I'm taking it a little bit above the crease. You guys know I like to do this because I have hooded eyes. Then I'm picking up this light orangey shade and I'm just going to repeat the same step, just keeping it a little bit more into the crease and just buffing it right into the inner corner. And I do take it a little bit underneath the eye as well, but I do go back later on in the video and do my under eyes. Then I'm going in with this super bright orangey red shade and I absolutely love this color. I'm taking this on a more precise blending brush and I'm just really focusing this into the crease and bringing it right into the inner corner. I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and little circular motions just to make sure I have the product nice and blended. And then I'm taking this warm tone brownie shade, it's a bit darker, and I'm just working this in with a MAC 217 on the outer corner of the eye just to start building up some intensity. Then I'm going in with this darker matte brown and just taking this right in the outer corner and again just repeating the same step I just did just to build up the dimension and the depth. And for the beautiful glittery lid shade I'm taking this Colourpop Super Shock Eyeshadow in I Heart This and I love this eyeshadow so much so I'm just using my finger to apply this just to get the most intensity but it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And then I'm taking my 217 once again and just blending the edges. Then just going back into the palette and taking this light champagne colour, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. I'm using a little smudge brush so I have nice precision. Then I'm taking a Rimmel eyeliner. This is just a pencil liner and I'm just using a flat little definer brush and taking the product onto that and then just pushing this into my lash line and just creating like a smoky, um, just kind of messy line across my lash line. And then just taking the same color and just tight lining my eyes. Then I'm taking my lash curlers and just giving my lashes a curl and I'm applying some Pumped Up Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. And for false lashes, I'm taking the Red Cherry 747Ls. They're super long and wispy and just beautiful. Moving back onto the face, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer underneath my eyes to hide the dark circles. So I'm just applying this all the way underneath the eyes, as I said, and bringing it down in sort of a triangular motion. Um, and then I'm taking an EXO Beauty Tapered Kabuki Brush and just tapping all of this product out. I love this brush for under the eyes, it works so well. 
Then just to make sure my foundation and concealer are blended, I'm using the Artex brush again and just blending those two together. Then to conceal the rest of my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is another one of my favorites. It's super creamy and good coverage. So I'm just applying this down the center of my face and on any blemishes. And then just going back with the Artiste brush and blending my concealer out. It's a bit big for concealer, but I just love this brush so much that I can't help myself. I use it anyway. For cream bronzer, I'm taking this Bourjois Chocolate bronzer, bronzing powder, I don't know, it smells like chocolate, that's why I smelled it. And I'm just using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, this is a nice dense brush, and I'm just applying this to my cheekbones um, and around the temples and the forehead just to add some dimension to my face. Then to bake my under eyes, I'm just taking the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder and just using a little e.l.f. wedge and I'm just applying this underneath the eyes and I do take some underneath my contour as well. Then I'm just using a Morphe G3, no, G6, G8. I have no idea, but I'm using this brush to apply the rest of the powder to the center of my face and then brush the product away. I will have the brush listed down below in case you guys are interested. Then just to set the cream bronzer a little bit, I'm taking this really light bronzer. It is from Physicians Formula. It's just their bronze booster. And then for blush, I'm taking MAC Warm Soul. I absolutely love this blush so much and I'm just applying this to my cheeks and bringing it back. And then to highlight, I'm using this Models Prefer Highlighting Powder in Soft Focus. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat in the background, she's so noisy. Um, I'm just using an Eco Tools fan brush just to apply this to all the high points of my face. And then to set everything, I'm just using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Moving on to the under eyes, I'm taking that first shade I used as the transition shade and just starting to buff this right underneath the eye with the 217 brush. And then picking up the bright orangey red shade again, just on the same brush, I'm just starting to buff this into the outer corner and then bring it in. And then just taking that flat definer brush, I've got no extra product on it, I'm just using the leftover eyeliner, I'm just pushing this into my lower lash line. And then going back in with the ColourPop shadow in I Heart This, I'm just applying this to the bottom of the lash line and just bringing this right into the inner corner so it really adds a pop of sparkle. I'm just prepping my lips with a little bit of lip balm and then I'm going in with this Rimmel Lip Liner. I have name down below, I'm just outlining my entire lips and filling the outer thirds kind of in and leaving the center bare. And for the lip shade, I'm taking this Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Sure, and it is absolutely stunning as you can see. I love it, the formula is beautiful, I just love these so much. Then I did just decide to go in with a nude pencil in the waterline just to open my eyes up a little bit. And after that, the look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you did. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. So I finally gave into the hype of this. I wasn't giving into the hype because I was like, no, no, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is the best. Like nothing can beat that. This is just as good. And it's in a doe foot formula. So by that, I mean it has the...